Hello everyone, I'm Dad Mishima and we're back to bring you another installment of Classic Gaming. This video covers World 5 of Super Mario Bros. 3. Now, World 5 is known as the sky area of the game and is taken over by Roy Cooper. With that being said, let's get started. In order to get the secrets in 5-1, we need to use a P-Flight power-up. From the start, take flight and go inside the warp pipe at the top. From here, you want to keep going to the right, but there's not much going on in this area. Take the warp pipe at the far right to exit. Now we are located underneath the level, so from here, you want to fly upwards then hit the P block. Now collect the blue coins as quickly as possible. To exit this area, fly through the bricks located here while being mindful of the chain chomps while doing so. Now continue to the right to complete the level. There's a secret route in 5-2, but it's really hard to get there without a P-Wing. I recommend using one. First, go down the warp pipe. Fall down a bit, then fly upwards towards the right. Now, it is very important not to get hit by a Koopa since you will lose your P-Wing if you do. Go up the warp pipe. This will put Mario on the upper path. Continue to the right, and since we have a P-Wing, we can fly to the right without worries from the enemies. In here, hit the giant item block for 3-1-ups. Besides that, there's not much else going on here. From here, continue to the right and go to the warp pipe to finish the level. Let's take care of these hammer bros first, then make our way to 
So 5-3 is the level that has to shoot Goomba on it. Let's head down the warp pipe. Go to the left. This level has an abundance of spinies and other enemies Mario can jump on. Let's take out the shoot Goomba who will be appearing from the left. Grab his chew and continue the level. With Mario inside the shoe, he has the ability to jump on spinies and other enemies like the piranha plants and he can even walk on munchers. So yeah, it's probably best to keep the shoe throughout the level in its entirety. Keep going to the left and ignore the bomb arm if you can. As you can see, the shoe makes this level easier. Now we have to head to the right. If you miss and fall into the small openings, the shoe will protect you from the monsters. So as you proceed to the right, just be mindful of the piranha plants and the small holes in the ground. Otherwise, this is a straight shot to the end of the level. So it's time to head to the first fortress of World 5. In order for us to reach the secrets in the first fortress, we need to fly but most importantly, we need the Tanuki suit. From the start, make your way across the lava and avoid the Rosal Disc traps. Now we need to take out the Thromps and the Rosal Disc traps in this area. This needs to be done so we have enough room to fly and we won't have any interference from said traps. Once the path is clear, we need to run and fly up the first opening in the ceiling. When you reach the top, go down the warp pipe. In here, collect the coins and grab three one-ups from the top of the screen. Take out the Roto Disc and the Thromp to make it by safely. Now the hitbox on the Thromps are wonky and sometimes Mario will even pass through them so be careful. That was a close call, but we got it. 
Now take out the boom boom to finish the level. With the fortress defeated, let's make our way to the Hammer Brothers first. Then we will go to the Spiral Tower. So with these mini levels, it's always best to start them off with a star if you have one. Well look at that, another star. So the Spiral Tower is the pathway from the ground to the sky. We need to start this level with the Tanuki suit. From the start, let's head to the right. Be mindful of the ropes with these traps and take them out if you have to. When you reach the end of this section, head up the warp pipe. The thromps in this section are not too bad and you can take them out with Mario's statue drop, but it's best that you avoid them altogether. When you reach the end, head up the warp pipe. Now we have to clear some jumps as we head to the right. Be mindful of the many Goombas that are hitting in bricks. When you reach the end of this area, there's a plethora of coins hidden in the rightmost wall. Use the tail swipe to collect them, then head up the green warp pipe. Now we have more thromps and rotal discs to avoid. As I stated before, the thromps hitbots are very finicky, but in some cases, it's best to take them out before proceeding. Now when you reach the end, head up the civil war pipe. So here, let's go up this warp pipe. Now this is the last section of the level. Collect some coins at the base of the warp pipe. Now go to the right. Hit the brick here and climb up the blue vine. Enter the warp pipe at the top to complete the level. Now that we're in the sky section of the map, we have access to the rest of World 5. So now, let's focus our attention on 5-4. This level is a bit challenging, but we're going to skip most of it. Gather speed here and fly to the very top of the level and use Mario's glide to reach the cloud towards the right. From here, just stay on the upper clouds and when you reach the third one, Glide down and land on the spinning platform. Now all we need to do is clear two more spinning platforms and enter the warp pipe at the end to complete the level. Okay, so in 5-5, we need to grab a total of 28 coins here in order to unlock the White Toad Mushroom House. Okay, so you know with these type of platforms, we can't stay still for too long or we will fall. Now go to the right and we need to take out the Koopas with Mario's Tanuki Drop. Do this so you won't have to deal with bouncing turtle shells.
Now go to the right a bit further and you will come to a section with coins. Gather all of them, even the ones near the bottom of the screen. But be very careful doing this because one slip up will equals Mario's end. Now let's head back to the left. Carefully jump over the gap. Now keep going until you reach the first warp pipe at the left. Now head inside. Collect the coins as you fall down and at the bottom of this area is a tanuki suit and a giant item box if needed. You really don't have to double back like I did here. I just wanted to make sure I had enough coins. Now continue to the right. Avoid all enemies and make your way to the exit. So level 5-6 is an also scrolling area. We have to use these beetle style enemies called para beetles as platform if we want to survive. But be careful of staying on them for too long since Mario weight will push them down. Make sure to keep the leaf power if you can since that would make the level much more bearable. Now this section here is more simple platforming, so we can take a breather at this point. Yes, the glide ability is your best friend. At the end, go through the warp pipe to finish the level. So let's enter this level with the star. Go to the right and move as fast as you can with the star power. Now when you reach this point, we have to be mindful of Lackey too. Try your best to keep moving and be careful of the bullet bills as you proceed to the right. When you reach the end, go through the warp pipe to complete the level. Be mindful of the Lackey too at the end. Okay, so the second fortress is definitely a step up from the first one. From the start, we need to cross the gap and make our way to the orange warp pipe. Now we need to go to the right. We have to navigate Mario across the broken bridge areas and keep him from falling into the lava. 
This fortress is all about patience as well as perseverance. Also, make sure to get the timing and pattern down of the various fireballs that spawn from above and below. Now we need to collect the star, then quickly hurry to the right. The smaller platforms require more precision as you jump and land on them. Now grab the raccoon leaf from here if you need to and keep heading right. Avoid the ghost and dry bones and enter the warp pipe at the end. Jump over the gap and make your way to the boss battle. And this boom boom fight is business as usual. Five dash eight is going to be a breeze to go through. Anyway, head to the right. And when you get about here, a Lakitu will appear. Keep moving and learn the cloud placement as I have so you can move non-stop. Once you make it to this point, you're at the end of the level. Enter the warp pipe to finish the level. Five dash nine is another auto scrolling level, but it scrolls vertically. So I recommend using a raccoon leaf or a tanuki suit for the glide ability. Avoid all enemies if possible and remember to try to keep Mario close to the middle of the screen since that's the sweet spot. I always use a P-Wing on five dash nine. So what you're seeing here is my first time playing it without one. So once you make it here, make sure to take out the fire chump before it has a chance to flame brawl you. Once you jump to the next platform, another fire chomp will emerge from the bottom. When you reach the top, enter the warp pipe to defeat the level. I cannot stress enough when it comes to the importance of using the glide ability, especially on levels such as these. So this airship by far is the hardest one. Roy's airship is of the typical variety, except it has more cannons and flame engines everywhere. To be honest, I wasn't too happy with the gameplay here, but at least I managed to defeat the level off of one life. Also, notice that the auto scrolling is moving a bit fast here. So yeah, I made some beginner mistakes here and there, and that's totally on me. So now we have base Mario. It's time to get on my A game and no more mistakes can be made because we have to face Roy Koopa in battle. So, Roy will shoot loops at you with the magic wand just like Larry. The main difference here is that he does short hops that will stun Mario if he lands while you're standing on the ground. Jump on his head and avoid his ground pound while doing so. You have to jump on him three times to score the win. So with Roy Cooper defeated, we can now journey over to the next world. 
So that's it for this edition of Classic Gaming and Future Super Mario Bros. 3. I'm Dad Mishima. See you in World 6. Thank you.